So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the common gate amplifier. And you'll see the common gate amplifier drawn a few different ways. Um, my personal favorite way to draw it is like this. So if we've got a resistor here at the drain, we can call that RD. We've got an output voltage. And the difference is we are applying the input voltage to the source of the transistor rather than the gate. The gate we just ground. And you might say, well, why would you do that? Like, that doesn't, that doesn't seem to make any sense. And how does that even work? Well, despite its awkward looking nature, we can just analyze this circuit like any other. And so the three quantities of interest, again, are the voltage gain, the input resistance, and the output resistance. So how do we go about calculating these? Well, we just use our small signal model. So when in doubt, just draw out the full small signal model and you'll, you'll never go wrong. Um, so first we can draw out the small signal model, the hybrid pi model of the transistor itself. So we know we've got a GM VGS here. And then, so this is the gate, this is the source, and this is the drain. And we see up here that the drain of the MOSFET is connected to a resistor. So we're going to connect the drain to a resistor. Actually, let me draw that also in white. And then that resistor is connected to VDD, uh, which instead gets connected to ground because VDD doesn't change in small signal. It's, it's got no, no change as a function of time. Okay, so that's our drain voltage, and this is also uh, V out. So the drain terminal is our, also our output voltage. Now this terminal over here is our source. Uh, this terminal is just connected straight to a voltage source VN. So we can just draw that here. So we're connecting that straight to our voltage source VN. And the gate is connected straight to ground. So that's, that's fairly simple. So this is the full small signal model for the circuit. And we're interested in calculating. Well, first let's do the gain, uh, V out over V in. Uh, okay, well, what is V out over V in? Well, you might say, well, we've got a voltage source in series with a current source. Like what is going on? Has the universe gone crazy? Uh, no, the universe hasn't gone crazy. This circuit will actually turn out to be analyzable. Also, this is VGS. Um, because what is the output voltage here? Well, we know that we've got a certain current flowing through this resistor, a certain current I. And we know that the output voltage, irrespective of what the input voltage is, is just minus I times, oh, and that's RD, times RD. And we know what that current is, right? That, that current I is just GMVGS. So we can just rewrite V out as minus GM VGS times RD. And then all we have to do is figure out what VGS is. So we're, we're basically ignoring V in for the time being. And we're just saying, well, we're going to worry about that later. The only thing we care about is what exactly is generating this output voltage. Okay, so now what's VGS? Well, uh, VGS, as usual, is just VG minus Vs, and Vg here is grounded, so that's zero volts, and Vs, the voltage at the source right here, uh, is just equal to Vm, because it's the voltage that we're applying. So Vgs is just equal to minus Vn. And so then the output voltage is equal to minus Gm times minus Vn times Rd, or positive Gm rd and that's the answer that's our or sorry uh, if you if you divide by uh, vn then you can get the voltage gain v out over vn which is positive gmrd and that's interesting because that's almost exactly the same answer we got for the common source amplifier except now it's positive instead of negative which is interesting um Okay, so what's what's our next quantity of interest well the the input resistance so let's redraw the circuit uh, just our simple hybrid pi model uh, where we've got our 
GMBGS our RD uh, this is our gate this is our source and this is our drain and we said that the gate was grounded and the source we're now instead of an input voltage we're applying a test voltage and they're basically the same thing right it's just we're gonna be doing the math slightly differently because uh, we're interested in the currents and not not voltages so this is basically the same exact circuit as before um, except now what we're interested in is the test voltage divided by the test current and so this is I test um, okay well how do we find that uh, well, it's really convenient because we've actually got a current source right here that tells us what I test is. Um, so I test is just equal to, uh, so you see that I test is the current flowing into this current source, or if we were to flip the, the sign of that current source, it's just minus GM VGS. Okay, uh, now what's what's VGS? Well, uh, we said just previously that uh, VGS is just VG minus VS, which here is the gate is grounded, so zero volts minus V test. Because VS again is the voltage at the source, and the voltage at the source is just the voltage that we're applying. So VGS is just equal to minus V test. And so then we've got. I test is just equal to minus GM times minus V test or GM V test. Now, if we rearrange both sides, we divide both sides by I test, we divide them by GM, you'll get that V test over I test is just one over GM. And this is the input resistance. So that's interesting. That's well, let's, let's not do that. That's very different from the answer we got previously because previously we said that the input resistance was infinite um, and for the common, common source and the common drain. And that's because we were applying the input uh, to the gate rather than the source. But now we have a finite input resistance and this will actually turn out to be really useful um, when we want to control the input resistance of, uh, of an amplifier. Now, what about the last quantity, the output resistance? Well, uh, you know the procedure by now. We are going to draw the small signal circuit. Um, so GM, BGS. And yes, you will eventually get tired of doing this. And no, it will never end. Um, <laughs> just kidding. It, it ends with, uh, with inspection analysis. So we know we've got a resistor connected to the drain, RD. Oh, uh, and the other interesting thing I wanted to say about this input resistance is it's independent of RD. And that's definitely weird. That's very strange. That is not at all what we'd expect. So think about that. Uh, let, let that bother you for a while. Um, okay, back, back to the output resistance. So we know that we're interested in applying a test voltage, V test at the output, which here is at the drain. And we know that our gate is grounded and our source, which we'd usually be applying the input voltage to VN, um, we have to set VN to zero um, so that we can make sense of the rest of this circuit. Uh, that, that's sort of the definition of the output resistance. You have to short all other, or um, zero all other independent sources. So this is just ground. Well, okay, so we're interested now in finding the quantity V test over I test. And so how do we do that? Well, uh, the fairly obvious way, since there's only one node, or the, the most intuitive way, uh, is we just apply KCL at this node. So the current flowing in is equal to the current flowing out. So the current flowing in is I test. And the current flowing out can take one of two paths, either this resistor or this current source. So the current flowing through resistor is just the voltage over the resistance. So V test over RD. And the current flowing through this current source, well, that's just the current source's value. Um, so plus GM VGS. And now you know the trick. 
um, all we need to do is figure out what this VGS value is. And so VGS, as usual, is VG minus VS. Uh, and here VG is zero volts and VS, oh, well, that's interesting. It's also connected to zero volts. So VGS is actually actually just equal to zero. So this term doesn't, doesn't actually matter. This current source is off. Um, so I test is just equal to V test over RD or rearranging that um, the output resistance, which is V test over I test. is equal to RD. Cool, and we're done. So these are the three, um, this is the complete model for our common gate amplifier. We've got an input resistance of one over GM. So this is the input voltage that we're applying. We've got a gain of positive GM RD, and we've got an output resistance of RD. This is our output voltage. So this is the final model of our common gate amplifier. And things will change uh, a little bit, well, considerably, once if we add in the output resistance. And that's what I'm going to do in the next video. But the result will just be a variation on this answer. So it'll be modification, but not that severe. Um, so this is the model for our common gate amplifier. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them down below. Uh, if you like the video, please consider liking it or subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.